Well, we recently bought a new house and we really like it, but one downside is we're right by a highway. And there's some trees that block it over there and we have a whole forest area over here. But what I really want to plant is as many fast growing trees along this fence line as I can. Um, the obvious choice is Arbor Vitae. That's relatively cheap, fast growing, good screen, and it lasts throughout the winter. And one thing about the Arbor Vitae is it's relatively cheap. You can go on Amazon, and I think for four bucks each, you can buy them in groups of 10 or 50, but they're around four bucks each. They're only a foot high, but I could plant them relatively cheap, and I can plant 50 of them along this whole fence line for maybe 200 bucks. But I thought I might give this propagation idea a try first. But I thought I would try to do propagation, which is cutting branches, putting them in water, waiting for the roots to form, and then planting them. And the real thing that gave me the idea about propagation was I was on Amazon looking to buy Arbor Vitae, and I saw you could get 25 willow trees for like 30 bucks or something. I was like, wow, what a great deal. And then I read about it, and all you got, as people said, all you get is sticks. But it still had a really good rating. But people were saying, yeah, you get a, a bundle of sticks in the mail. And all you do is stick them in water, and you get roots, and you can plant them. And I thought, hey, I have some willow trees at my house, so why not give it a try? So I didn't just pick any type of tree. I read about it, what um, type of trees work well for propagation. And one of the big ones that everyone mentioned was a willow tree. And willows are kind of dangerous because you don't want to buy sewer lines or water lines because they get into anything that there's water. Um, but this is an area out here in the sand. There's nothing out here. There's no utilities. So I had a weeping willow in my old yard and I cut some branches. A uh, cheap root uh, promoter I read was honey and cinnamon. So I dipped them in honey and I sprinkled cinnamon on them. I didn't know if it worked or not, but I put them in water, and after a week, some root buds started to form. And another week later, I could see some roots, and another week later, they were nice and long roots. And I brought them here, I planted them, and so far, the leaves have grown, and they've done great. Uh, the trouble is, I need about 50 trees. So I did that for about 10 of them, and I planted them right here. I dug a little bit of hole, uh, dug a small hole in the sand, and I just put the roots right in it. And I've been watering them every day. That's one thing you have to do, especially with willows. Willows you cannot overwater, so I've been watering these every day. They look like you can see this one is doing great. There's tons of leaves on it, and so about a month ago, this was just a stick. There was none of these leaves on here. And now all these leaves will come up. Then five feet away I've done this one. Uh, this is a pine tree that I transplanted from another part of the yard. Here's another one. And again, I just put them right into the ground. And they've done great. But they said cottonwood is another type of tree you could try. So here's what I've done. I've tried uh, white pine from these white pines right here. Um, this unknown tree, it looked a little bit like a uh, willow leaf, but that was from that tree over there by the highway. This is another junk tree on the, the yard, and then spruce. And for all of these trees here, I didn't do anything with the root promoter. I didn't do any honey. I just stuck them right in the water. So these have been in for a while, and there's nothing on them. The spruce trees, no roots coming out. 
The white pines, no roots. This unknown tree by the highway, no roots. Now in this bucket I have cottonwood and willow. And these have been in here for a couple weeks. Cottonwood, no roots that I can see on these. And then these willow trees I put in about a week ago. And already I can see buds forming on them. And these, again, I didn't put them in any root promoter, any honey. I just stuck them in water. And these are coming in great. And I can tell that roots are going to come out of these. All right, this is just a recap a month later. Um, I did some other tests with some white pine, some spruce, and another junk tree. And none of those did anything. And then a couple weeks ago, I went and got some more willows. And again, without any root promoter, these did amazingly well. Um, I did have some other trees that grew by the road, and I got a few little buds on them. And I might plant these in the cottonwoods. I thought I could see a little bit of budding, but not really. I'm going to try some root promoter on the cottonwoods because those are fast growing and they're right there and I know they can grow in the area. So I'd really like these to grow. But again, the willows were the star with the amount of roots they'll grow, just sticking them in water. So I'm going to plant these and I have a whole bunch more in this bucket. You can see they're all doing really well. It's new buds and uh, new uh, leaves growing on them. So I'm going to plant the willows and then I'm going to try to get some more of these cottonwoods to grow because these are basically free trees if you can get them to grow. And let me show you the ones I planted a few weeks ago. How well they're doing. You can see they've gotten more more shoots growing really really tall and this is just a couple weeks a couple weeks after uh, the other video. This one I thought was dead and it's still going. Seems like you can't kill him. And again, this one was completely dead. This is a different type of tree here. But this one was completely dead and I still planted it and it's grown fine. It's starting to go. But you can see the, uh, the branches that are coming up. So I have high hopes for them growing. So, from what I can gather, the willow trees are great for propagation. I'm guessing you could cut a willow branch, stick it in the ground, and it would probably grow into a tree. So those have worked great. Obviously for the other ones, they won't work just in water. Uh, I might try dipping them in honey and then putting them back in the water, or buying a real uh, root promoter to try it again, because those might need a little bit of work. I didn't have a lot of hope for the, the spruce or the other trees, but I just thought, hey, I might, I might give it a try. Another great thing about the willow tree is how fast they'll grow. I think if I could keep watering them, they might grow three, four, five feet a year. So hopefully in a couple years, they'll be high enough to screen the, uh, the highway. Cottonwood, I'm gonna really try to get the cottonwoods growing because these two, uh, this group of trees right here are big cottonwoods and you can see those are another really, really fast growing tree and that's what I need. So I'm going to really try to get those cottonwoods to start forming roots so I can plant those as well. But if you're thinking of trying to do a propagation or growing trees from cuttings, my advice is you cannot go wrong with willow trees. They, uh, from what I've seen, they work. All of them I've cut have grown roots. I've just stuck them in a bucket of water, they've grown roots. I've done the honey, they, they got roots. And they're doing great in the ground. Some people say that rabbits will eat the leaves. you got to guard them. But we have a ton of rabbits in our yard. And knock on wood, they haven't eaten the leaves yet. And uh, the other thing is, I did this in the middle of summer. It was 90 degrees, and they still did fine. And uh, some people say you should do it early in the spring. But so far, they've done fine uh, right in the middle of summer. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, 
home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.